We are now just hours away from September 11th, one of the darkest days in American history. Tomorrow marks exactly 20 years since the Twin Towers fell. It's a day I'll never forget because as a young New York based reporter, I was sent downtown to cover the attack as it was unfolding. Nothing could have prepared me for the sheer hell that played out before my eyes. My colleagues and I were up early working on a story about, of all things, UFOs. That's when we got word that a small plane had struck one of the World Trade Center towers. The start of this national nightmare. Head on down, we were told. We were on our way when the second plane hit, and we realized that we were not responding to an accident. The United States was under attack. You have a second plane into the other tower, the tower of the Trade Center, major fire. We pulled over and parked on Murray Street, a block and a half north of the Twin Towers. I will never forget what we saw. Both towers, punctured and burning. My cameraman turned on his equipment, and I began interviewing the firefighters. Is there any way to prepare for something like this? These men were walking into danger as everyone else was trying to escape. What's the plan, I asked them. Who's in charge? 343 firefighters would die that day. I've often wondered if any of those I spoke to were among them. As we looked up in shock, the full scope of the horror was suddenly emerging. I mean, what's people falling down? People are jumping out of the building. Yeah. How many have you seen? About a dozen. Alone, or in groups of two or three or more, people deciding it was better to leap from 80, 90, 100 floors up rather than burn to death in the impact zones. We were trying to process what was happening when suddenly the South Tower fell, sending a tidal wave of smoke and debris right at us. Heart-stopping moments one after another. My colleagues and I caught our breath People doused their eyes with bottled water. Cell phones were jammed, leaving some to try to reach loved ones with pay phones. One tower had crumbled, the other would follow 30 minutes or so later. New York City's skyline and the country as a whole changed forever. I returned to the studio to help anchor round the clock coverage, trying to help viewers understand the events I had just witnessed firsthand. And 20 years later, I'm still in disbelief. Rick Fulbaum, CBS 46 News.